a political agenda. Mm -hmm. And I think there's too much of it now, um, especially in the more mainstream stuff, you know, just lines that are thrown in there that are, no, no human being would just drop that into the middle of that conversation. It's just so fucking like, and remember, mm -hmm. be nice to people or, you know, whatever the fuck it is that they're trying to shove down mm -hmm. your throat. Um, and also the censorship that's going on now as well. Um, saw something the other day about something to do with arts council funding being stripped from certain things, being pulled from certain things. If there's a certain type of language that's being used or a certain type of language that's not being used, that's now part of the filter system. Um, to what's going to get money and what's not going to get money. And if art isn't going to challenge the status quo, what is going to challenge the status quo? Because yeah. it ain't going to be fucking sports people because they're like, they're heavily now more than ever sort of uh, coached on what to say and how to behave and how to speak. Yeah. So are a lot of celebrities. I think musicians, they probably have, they have a little bit more room to sort of fuck about but if if you challenge something that's you know currently trending and you challenge it in the wrong way then you know fucking you're fucking shut down and all mm -hmm. the rest of it um and i just think if listen going on fucking twitter or whatever the fuck it's called these days and, and being fucking offensive to people is no way to change things i think ah uh, done well is a good way to change things and is a good way to get a message or out there. Or at least just ask questions. Yeah, exactly. Because you don't necessarily need to have all the all the answers. No, no one has. No, no. But at least you can ask questions even from, from like from the mainstream agendas like, well, yeah, but maybe Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Like yeah. You know, is this right? Like mm. what we're doing right now, is that correct? Um Man, my problem with that is like not every story needs to be about like the mainstream the mainstream agenda that's going no, on right no. now. Not everything is about equality. I'm not against equality. I'm just saying that not absolutely every story should be about that. No, 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 exactly. Um, and it's the, the thing is about that as well is it starts to lose its meaning. Mm -hmm. You know, it starts to lose its, its impact. Like if you have a smaller number of sort of uh, films and theater pieces, but of real quality that are challenging, um, that, that has more impact rather than everything being a bit saturated with it and everything having to be like sort of ad adhering to it. Um, and listen, I've not watched everything. I'm not, you know, I, you know, it's a little bit of a generalization, but I, I just find, I, I watched, I watched a play last week. I only watched the first half of it, actually. One of the cast members got ill part way through and then it, it couldn't finish. Um, and it was set up north and it was working class and the cast was predominantly women. So good, you know, good stuff. I know I'm, I'm, I'm all for it. Um, but the audience was 90% white middle class at least and it's fucking expensive as fuck to go to the theater and i was just sort of like what is this for so we've got we've got a working class story we've got we've got we've got women on stage and also it was about a polish guy who was receiving prejudice in small towns and like you're stealing all our jobs and the polish guy wasn't even played by a polish guy mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and, and i just was like i was fucking scratching my head and i still can't put my finger on it really but i was just like what are we doing? What are we actually doing with our art right now? Like, what, what is this for? Who is it for? Mm. Because if it's for entertainment and it's for the audience, well, that audience is an extremely fucking elitist demographic. Mm. You know, it's part, it's, it's elitist. The demographic is 90% white middle class people, mm. middle aged people as well. So the people that it's about, working class people, from the north of England in this case, they ain't going to the fucking national to watch to watch that play. Mm. There's no shared experience. There's no relatability. Mm. And if it's and then if the play is about uh, the way we treat Eastern Europeans in this country, for example, the racism that comes with that, well, the fucking guy playing the part's not even Polish. <laughs> and he's doing a fucking terrible accent, and he's not acting very well either. Mm. So I'm like, I was just like, what? What is this for? And that, that feeling that I had about that, 
I have on varying degrees about stuff that I watch on TV and I watch on theatre is like, mm. are we making stuff to move people? Are we making stuff to like entertain people? Or are we making stuff because we've been told by our superiors that we have to talk about that talk about, thing. talk about that <laughs> that we have to be seen mm -hmm. you know it's the whole that the, the, we have to be seen talking about that <laughs> we have to be seen talking about that and it's the whole thing and again i i reckon this is probably a divisive opinion and people share it and people don't but it's the whole thing with like when it's pride and all the big companies get their fucking flags mm -hmm. out and everything's colorful and it's all about pride and mm -hmm. we support the LGBTQ plus community, but is is it? That's just a marketing strategy, right? Of that, course. That's just that company showing that we, you know, we're here for you. Mm -hmm. we're, we're here for mm -hmm. you. We're, here, here's a new yeah. chocolate bar with like with the flag. So no, maybe you buy it more of those now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Look at us. We like we like gay people too. Mm. We've got we've got loads of kids in the, in third world making our clothes and shit, mm. but fucking gay people, <laughs> we're there, we're right there for you. Like we're we're good people, and that that's what I was saying earlier about the hypocrisy of things and stuff. I'm just like it's fucking bullshit. Like mm. that, it's, it's just bollocks. Mm. But maybe people would say, well, at least people are aware of it, and at least it's you know on a bigger scale in society we can all see and we can become aware of like actually you know yeah we need to do better in terms of the way that we treat. Uh, minorities and stuff like that and I, and I do and I see that as well and I see that with like other stuff in terms of like at least we're being made aware of it and it's sort of constant that we're being made aware of it and maybe that is the big picture um, and maybe that is more important than the art being you know amazing and really moving and all the rest of it I don't know mm. but from an artist from an artistic point of view I find it is stunting Mm. The, the quality of the work if you have to think about what you're writing if you have to think about what you're saying is this going to offend someone mm -hmm. is this going to is this going to not is this going to get shut is this play going to get shut down if i have that opinion mm -hmm. is my film not going to get any funding if i if i write this thing mm -hmm. in it you know like I've, I've, the thing that i'm working on at the moment um like i've wrote a couple of things in there which the character that i've, I've written the world that he's from would 100 percent say those things yes yeah. But I'm like, I don't know if I can put that in my script because I feel like it's going to fucking upset somebody. Yeah. And I'm going to pitch that project to execs. And I'm like, if they watch that and then they're like, they then decide that that's the, my opinion. Because mm. that's, that's another issue I've had over the years when I've written stuff. People treat you like that's your opinion because you're the writer. I'm like, no, I'm writing a world. I'm creating a world of other mm. people who have those opinions. But if I wrote everything that was just my opinion, what a fucking shit piece of work that would be. There, you know? there wouldn't be any conflict, for sure. Yeah. Everyone would agree. <laughs> exactly. We're all agreeing with each other. Yeah. Yes, I like chicken. Yes, you like chicken? Yes, good. Let's all eat chicken. You want some chicken? Yes, I like chicken.